want to try one of my eyeshadow palettes with different eyeshadow bases or primers. The eyeshadow palette is the Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane Remastered Palette. I've shown it a couple of times. It's like all these gorgeous multi-chromes. And I thought about using different eyeshadow bases or primers. So let me tell you how I got there. I use an eyeshadow primer like 9.8 times out of 10 when I'm doing my eyeshadow. Typically, I will either use my Sigma eyeshadow stick base thing. I think there are about four colors. Or I will use my Makeup by Mario eye prep and set. I've gone through the creams and so now sometimes I just use the powder. I want to get through a couple of other primers before I open the, the back up. I will also sometimes use my Pat McGrath Intensifies Artistry Wand. This is a clear one while the other two primers I just mentioned have some color to them. And then lastly, I have been using the eyeshadow bases from Natasha Denona. They are called the Work and Set. I have one in black, one in brown, and then one in nude. That's all I'm going to say about how this is nude. That's all I'm going to say about it. Okay, anyway, so the other day I was talking to Dion from Dion Loves Makeup and she was saying that it is often best to use some of these multi-crumbs with a black base. And so I was like, I have a base that is black that I can use. But then I was also thinking, like I wanna compare it to a more nude, base or one that's of a lighter color uh so i thought i would just take you along with me for this journey now i have used this palette before and i think i have only used it with a black base so today i'm going to do one eye with the black base and the other eye with the nude so let me just go ahead and get started it's going to be really quick and hopefully simple and easy just taking this brush, tapping it into the black work and set, and putting it on my eye. Now the reason that I have all three shades so far, that's all Natasha Denona has in terms of the work and set, it's just three shades, is because I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I got all three. So I am just blending that out. It's a cream. It's more of a drier cream, uh, but it does blend out pretty easily. Shoot, you could just rock this, y'all. All right. Okay, so that is one side. It's kind of a look, though. And on the other eye, I'm going to take a different brush and go in with the quote-unquote nude just tapping into it same way i did with the black get a little more on there so you can see this shade this nude is pretty white on me but I tend to actually really like um, these sort of lighter toned primers, especially for shades that have a lot of pigment in the eyeshadow palette. Like I wanna make sure that they pop. I look crazy. <laughs> I'm like that, that Target dog, but just with like, the black or the white or like a Dalmatian. 
you love it okay so plain Jane remastered and I've used all of these colors so I'm just going to pick one and I'll use the same color so that we can see what it looks like on the white base and on or I'm sorry the nude base and the black base I mm, think I will do this shade here it is ACI 5 putting it on my finger this is how I've enjoyed using this palette just with a finger make sure I go on the right one so I'm just covering pretty much using the primer to guide where I'm putting the shadow I should have put my hair up I hate when people be doing that swinging hair all in your face okay so there is that okay I had to get a hair tie because I was getting on my own nerves so I'm going to go in on the other eye with the same color see same color and we're putting it over the nude ah, I see a difference Huh. Y'all, that's like two different looks. What? Okay. Wow. Huh. Huh. Okay, let me do a little blending with like some mattes and I'll be right back. I also am now feeling like I want to use the brown. Okay, so all I did for the rest of the look was to take two shades from this Viseart Bridal Satin. I took these two and used those to blend out just sort of the edges same same colors on both eyes and then i took the viseart cool matte palette and used this sort of plummy color just on the lower lash line so this is literally the same look with two different bases so like you've got the lighter base here the nude and then you've got the black let me know which you prefer and I am going to go ahead and use the brown the brown is closer to my skin tone I think it's a little deeper than my skin tone but I'm gonna use this and see what it looks like I'll be right back Alright, so as I was taking the eyeshadow off, now one thing is that the nude white side was harder to get off than the black side. I feel like there's something poetic in that, but like my brain is still on like taking a break mode, so I'm not even going to try to like make a joke. And I was also thinking there are a lot of folks who do not use eyeshadow primer. Sometimes some people will use concealer or whatever. So I thought I'll do brown on one side and then on the other side, I will just set my eye with um, powder, setting powder, and put the eyeshadow on top. Why am I using my hand so much? Okay, so how about we do this side with 
some powder. I'm just gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is in the shade Tan. So it's a bit lighter than my skin tone, but I really like the way it sets everything. So this is for you folks who just, you know, you don't mess around with all the primer and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna take the brown from Natasha Denona. I got a different brush that's pretty similar to the others. Going in, patting like I did, and putting the brown on. So this feels more like it's sort of like neutralizing my eye color, eye lid color. And of course, it's much closer to my skin tone than uh, the black or the quote unquote nude. I'm not gonna stop saying it like that because. Y'all, this is a look too. Like if you're just wanting to put something on and these stay on. Like this is like this is a look. All right, so gonna go in with the same shade, keeping it consistent. The ACI five, first on the side with just the powder. Somebody little kid is outside screaming. I don't want to rain on this baby parade, but listen, it's like at the five. <laughs> Go inside, do your homework. Screaming all up and down the street. All right, so there is that. And then same shade on top of the brown. Alright, so here it is over just some powder and then here we have it over the brown. Okay y'all, let me tell you my thoughts. So um, first of all, I do like this palette. I've mentioned that before. I have used all of the shades. I also mentioned that some of them are similar, but I've been enjoying this palette a lot. And I love that it, even though it's all like multi-chromes and such, it's still really versatile, versatile, because you can change things up dependent upon the base that you use, which we just found out. Okay, I'm kind of excited. So let me know what your preference is. So we have the just over powder right here. We have the over brown. And then you saw, and hopefully you remember, the over the nude and then over the black. I, I think, I think I like the shade over the black base. I feel like that gives the most like, yes. You know what I mean? But then I was thinking, for the one over the white, like I could see wearing that like in the daytime or maybe like a sunrise service at church on Easter Sunday, just because it was giving like a lighter sort of look, do you know? And over the powder and the brown, I find that these are a bit similar. I think over the brown, there's a little bit more impact. And so this is probably like, this is what I could do every day. Do you know what I mean? And then this is just like, I just want to give you a little something. To, I don't, not too much, but I just want to give you a little something. That's how I've kind of categorized it in my head. Most likely, 
I'll probably try it all of the ways, honestly, but I think I'm leaning more towards the black base and the brown base. So I'm really curious as to what you're thinking. Let me know. Let me know if you use a primer. I've just gotten into like, it's just part of my routine now. Um, so I'm almost like surprised at how much I like it just over powder. All right, y'all, um, are we done? Yeah, I think we are. Let me know what you think. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Hopefully some of this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.